Hi, I'm Richard Aselta, and I'm a defense attorney for students. Today I want to talk to you about what happens if you get caught with drugs in school. Now obviously, I think everybody knows if you get caught with things like marijuana or cocaine or ecstasy, you're facing a lot of problems. But drugs are just not limited to those things. You can also get in trouble if you get caught with prescription drugs. Um, even if you have a legitimate prescription for these drugs and you don't notify the school that you have this prescription, you could also get yourself in trouble. Same thing goes for um, things like vape pens. Let's say you had a vape pen and you were actually using it to smoke some sort of tobacco product. Now that in and of itself can be a violation of your school's code of conduct, but probably not something that's going to get you expelled or sent to an alternative school. However, if you were using that vape pen for something else like marijuana, even if you don't have the marijuana with you and your school catches you and finds the vape pen, they can test the vape pen. And if it comes back showing that there is marijuana or traces of it, you could be facing uh, a lot of problems. Also, pretending that things have drugs in them can also land you in hot water. For instance, somebody brings in uh, edibles and they're claiming it has marijuana or some other kind of chemical compound in it, even if it really doesn't. If they're selling it and passing it off as it does, that can also get you in trouble. So what do you do if you find yourself in this situation? First, ask that you be allowed to call your parents. That's number one. Second, do not talk to other students about what you did. Don't send text messages. Don't post anything. Don't use social media. Please be quiet about it. Speak with your parents first and hire an education attorney. You need to hire somebody that understands the school process and what it takes to help you get through this. So if you find yourself in this position, please give me a call, send me an email. I'd be more than happy to talk to you. Thank you very much.